This is all of our next gen ministry. And they are uh, just some amazing people, and they're leading our children and junior high and high school and all that good stuff. And so they have something really cool going on today, and I'm going to let Kirsten be the one to explain. I'm going to hand it off to Julie first. (laughs) Good morning, everybody. How are you? We just wanted to reintroduce ourselves. Um, As Pastor Mark stated, um, our name is changing to Next Gen Ministries. And I myself am the children's ministry coordinator for 14 years. Everybody say 14 years. (laughs) I have had the pleasure and honor of serving in children's ministry for 14 years. And I never thought my heart could continue to grow for children's ministry, but it continues just month after month, year after year to grow for children's ministry. And I just wanted to give you kind of a just a synopsis of what we aim to do in children's ministry. It's not just babysitting, okay? We we really are intentional about the time and effort that we spend with your kids. Um, Children's ministry spans from ages zero all the way up to fifth grade. So our classes are broken down to babes, or our zero and two. And really with babes, our intention is to love on the kids, We love them. We let them know that even their voice, if it's not actual words, it means something to us. We listen to them. We pray for them. We even introduce them to prayer and worship. So we're teaching them how to worship and we're teaching them how to pray. When they move up to jam at age three, which spans from ages three to five, we begin to build even more on that prayer and worship. We begin to introduce them to significant characters in the Bible. So they begin to recognize when you're reading your Bible stories at home, they begin to recognize, oh, I heard about Jesus. Oh, I heard about Job. Oh, I heard about Paul and Silas. So we begin to introduce them to some of the significant characters in the Bible. When they go up to rockin' kids, that spans from first to third grade. And we continue to build on prayer and worship. You might find a theme throughout the classes here. But then we start to introduce them to hearing God's voice. We let them know that even those obscure things that they hear, it means something. Say it out loud. Your voice is important. And we want to teach them to talk to us. What are you hearing? What are you feeling? And we want to get them to exercise that prophetic muscle. We also introduce them to scripture and memory so that they begin to build that foundation of the biblical. And then for warriors is our fifth, fourth and fifth, and we really go after prayer and worship, and we really go after biblical foundations. So, again, children's ministry, it's not just glorified babysitting. We really love and work with your kids to get them to know Jesus. Hi, guys. Uh, My name is Justina Branson, and this is my husband, Michael Branson. And I am, for those of you who knew D'Lo, she transitioned out, and I replaced her, although she can't be replaced. Um, I am the new middle school coordinator, and uh, my husband will be with me leading middle schoolers, but we both have multiple years of experience in high school and middle school ministry, and um, our vision for and our heart for the middle schoolers is oftentimes they're underestimated. They're kind of in that weird gap between, like, kids and young adults, and they kind of get looped into the younger um, age too often, and so our goal is to challenge them to go deeper and uh, lay this foundation of Christ so that by the time they get to high school, their roots are planted so that, I mean, they're going to be more and more exposed to the world. So we want, our hope is that they're anchored in enough truth that they're not easily swayed, especially in our high school times. Um, And so our main thing is they should be, they should feel uh, encouraged to invite people, feel like it's a safe place to come no matter where they're at, whether they believe in God, whether they don't. Um, But at the end of the day, we want them to be getting alone, going back home in their bedrooms and encountering the Holy Spirit and seeking him uh, for themselves. It's kind of that period where we don't want it because you guys as parents want them to want Christ. We want them to want him on on their own. So that's our goal for middle school ministry and pass it on to high school. That's good. And they better have roots when they get up to me. So I was advised by my wife to stick to a writing plan because um, she knows me and I would hold up about five minutes. Who's preaching? Bob, are you preaching? No? Sean is? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I know. That's 30 seconds. Okay, ready? 
I believe that God is and will continue to pour out his spirit on our youth. I am contending with God to see him transform this generation. My wife and I are committed to attack what is attacking our youth. There has never been a time where our youth have been so bombarded with the things of the world. We believe the Bible is the ultimate truth and anything outside of that is a lie and not the ways of Jesus. We believe in equipping, teaching, and empowering our youth to walk in the things of God, such as prayer, power of the Holy Spirit, discipleship, and community. We believe that if the youth can get their hands on these things. They will be able to have what it takes to be a follower of Christ, able to suffer with the things of God, to walk in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit for the long haul. This youth group, we desire to build young believers to know how to suffer with Christ and call on the name of the Lord in love, power, and truth, and have fun with friends. I love his passion, but you have to, like, get him to write it down so that way it doesn't last that long. Um, as you can see back here, we have some tables, um, one for each respective ministry. Um, so at the end of service, if you want to meet us and have questions, we would love to answer the questions and meet you as parents. Um, or if anyone shared something um, that tugged on your heart, we would love to talk to you if you want to partner with us in our ministries. Um, as well as anyone online, you can find all the information that's being handed out today on our websites under NextGen in the respective ministries. And that's it. Awesome. All right, let's give it up. Hey, let's stretch out our hands towards these leaders. And uh, obviously, these aren't just warm bodies filling a position. These are anointed, called servants of Christ that are going to lead well in crazy times. So, Father, we thank you for these people, for our young people, these young leaders, God. Their passion is evident. Their zeal is evident. The revelation of the Holy Spirit is evident in them and through them. And so we pray blessing, God. We pray favor. We pray every child, every young person they encounter, God, would have an introduction to you, God, in the things of God. We pray that you would give them creative ideas, wisdom for these really abnormal times, fearlessness, God, a spirit of boldness, and they would proclaim your truth boldly, faith, by love, in the name of Jesus. Bless them. And all the church said, amen. Amen. amen.